everyone, my name is Gussie Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com and today I want to show you a UFO in Romania. Now this is really out there in Timbuktu nowhere in Romania. It's, it's in farm territory area. It's far away from the city. It's far away from big structures. It's far away from newer structures. It's right here as you can see. It looks like a water tower but it's not a water tower and I'll show you more detail about that if you really want to see it jump to the end of this video you will see the evidence that it's not a water tower you'll see the ground view of this yes that's right and let's move over here uh, you do see the full area that this is on and it's a little farm area and there's trails there's three trails leading to the UFO and right over here is the entrance area. And look at this. This place looks like a dump. It looks like a junkyard or something. Everything here is old except for the UFO. Exactly the perfect place to hide a UFO if you're going to park one someplace. Now over here there's a fence, a gateway in front of this junky area. Why do they need an 8-foot gateway in front of this place? There is an 8-foot, according to Google Ruler, this thing is eight feet tall and it protects a lot of crap. Look at that. But it also has something new back here. Something big. Let's check this out on Google Ruler. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bigger to make sure it's more accurate. Uh, here we go. Let's put in feet. Okay, we got 47.2 feet in diameter, which is 14.39 meters. Kind of cool, a little strange, but it is the perfect size and shape of the classic discs we've heard about in past UFO sightings like the, the Friendship case in Roccapia, Italy, or uh, down in South America, a lot of the UFO discs they report are about this big, a little bit smaller than a semi-truck, but bigger than a Piper Cub airplane. Okay, now I want to show you the area in general. It's really out in nowhere here. Do you see? There's no structures around here. This is all surrounded by farmland. Now the closest structures are down here in this area right here, which is about uh, half a mile away. Let's put on miles. There we go. Five, okay, 0.52 miles over here. And if you want to look at the ones above, let's see. There we go. It is 0.68 miles away. Uh, pretty unusual, I think, that this object, this UFO has been hiding here for years. Now you think, Scott, so who's going to hide a UFO there for years? Well, remember, aliens, most aliens, will have lifetimes of hundreds, if not thousands of years, at the least, at the freaking least. Uh, there's a species of tall whites that is supposed to have a, a lifetime of 700 to 800 years because they want to live a natural life even though they've had lots and lots of DNA replication or manipulation on there. So, uh, time really isn't that important to them. A few years is, is more like a few weeks or a few days to us. Okay, uh, what's a few days to them will be years to us almost in a lifetime. Now you see the trails. One, two, three thin half meter walking trails. There are no roads. This is not a cafe. This is not a hotel. Uh, very extraordinary find. Now I want to show you something in the lower left corner. Follow my cursor. See down here it says 2003. Let's check out some things from 2003. What did this UFO look like in 2003? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, up in the right hand corner you cannot see it there's a toolbar now that suddenly appeared and what it does is it lets me see from 2003 to 2014 toolbar to adjust photos of this object over time 
Okay, I will move it down so you can see this toolbar. Sorry it says polar view. It's a stupid Google Earth download. Just ignore this word here. It doesn't fit in. I have no idea how to delete it. Okay, now here is the toolbar I'm talking about. And you can get this view over time. Here we go. Let's go to this first line right here. It's been changed. You do see it's silver metallic. You also see this building over here is gone. There are no buildings over here. Let's go back to 2003. There seems to be no buildings over here at all. Very odd. So these buildings have been placed here um, perhaps after finding the UFO. Okay, this is 2009. We're looking at 2009. Okay, now you see a little bit, you see a little bit of a gate going across here, and this building has been mostly constructed. And you can see it more clearly now that this is a silver metallic object. In today's Google Earth in 2016, it does look white. It's not white, it is silver metallic. Let's go to the next place, next photo. 2010, we're looking at. Quality, of course, is still poor. 2011, the quality is improving. Boy, is that dark. Let's go to one up. Okay, this is 2012, which looks the same as today's view. Is that correct? It says 2012 on it. Hmm. 2012. I don't know. I really suspect they put the 2012, I mean, 2016 on the 2012 by accident. Let me check. Let's jump. Okay, 2013. See, yeah, uh, the 2012 was a, some kind of mistake. There's no way they could have that kind of quality back then. Okay, this is 2013. You can't really see that much. The quality of the area is quite poor. You do see there are mounds of something over here. This object looks like it's hovering. No, just a mound of dirt with a shadow next to it. And look, there are no trails. You don't see any walkways going to this UFO yet. And here you don't see any walkways going to and from the UFO. Uh, very strange. This is 2014. Okay, uh, that is pretty awesome. But that's 2000. 14. Uh, you do see it is silver metallic and you still don't see any trails around there. You do see some of the area farmed. Okay, what I'm going to do is exit out of this a little bit. So I apologize. I think I need to move this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here, watch what I'm doing so you can do this for yourself. Uh, come up here, click the X. See where my cursor is? Upper left hand corner. Okay, click the X. Normal view. Okay, 2016. Okay, everyone. Uh, on the far left of the screen, you cannot see it. There is a button. Let me move this over so you can see it. There we go. Right here. See my cursor? You click the 3D button. Boom. We're in 3D mode. Now, with the 3D mode, what's useful is that we can look at this object from the side. Now, I want to turn it a little bit so we can see it better from this view, this angle. Okay, let's move closer. As you see, this is not standing up on legs. There are no legs it's standing on. Uh, it is very on the ground. It's landed on the ground. There are no doorways, apparently, from what we can see. Um, very strange, isn't it? 
Okay, I'm gonna turn it a little more, see what we got. Whoops. Hard to view it from that angle, isn't it? There we go. Looks like this is the best viewing angle of it. Uh, but there you go. Uh, with 3D, you can see that it is on the ground. It is an object on the ground. It's not in the air. It's not flying. It's not uh, on legs, it's, which is absolute proof. The fact that it's not on legs is proof that it's not a water tank. So kind of unusual. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, follow us on uh, UFO Sightings Daily sometime. Appreciate it and uh, check us out there. Bye-bye.